If you've used Photoshop before, this is called the blend if or the blending option. So the luma range, you can use the luma range to adjust the areas the particular layer marks is going to affect. So let me show you. Let's create a, a fill adjustment. Let's name this fill adjustment. I'll just name it fill. And now let's make this basic adjustment to the fill and max in the color balance master. We increase the reds. Now for the luma range, if you click on the luma range, you can adjust a particular area this fill adjustment is going to affect using the luma range. So it is the extreme left, which is the dark area, and it's the extreme right, which is the bright area. So if you move this portion, if you move this like this, it means you are moving or removing this layer effect from the dark areas of your image. You can also adjust the fading like this by moving this by moving this arrow down here. I increase the fading effect so if you move it to create a straight vertical line like this it means the normal range effect is very hard but you can soften the effect using the fading option down here the same thing applies to this area this is the fader and this is the movement of the normal range so you can adjust it as much as you want this is the fallout you can see the fallout um, amount here you can adjust it as much as you want the same thing applies to this area you see the numbers you can manually impute them we can move to see how it works just like this you can also adjust the radius of the luma range the radius affects the pixels or the surface area. This is more the effect is more on the pixels, while the by moving to 200 effect is more on the surface area and anywhere in between determines how much of it. So you can also move the sensitivity slider, it increases how sensitive the luma range is affecting the overall image. This sensitivity value of 100, this is sensitivity value of 0. And display the max so I see exactly how it's affecting your image by moving them. So this is exactly how it works. Also invert the range so that areas that were selected is going to be selected and areas that were or selected is going to be selected. It's exactly how it works. So right now you can either apply or remove. Or you basically all understand what I've shown you from start. So let's remove this effect and let's delete this adjustment. So if you want to be sure, want to understand how well exposed your image is, you can toggle on the exposure warning. If you click on this exposure warning right now and you zoom into your image, You can see this red, this red overlay right here is showing one that this area is very bright. Let's turn it off. Turn it on. It means this area is very bright. So you can basically use the exposure warning to adjust the exposure of your image. If you toggle it on, let me show you one the background layer. If we come to our exposure section. And then for the exposure for increased exposure, you can see that it's showing us that these areas are already overexposed. It's clipping. It means it's losing details in these regions. If you turn it off, you are going to see that. If you turn it on, you are going to see it. So you can basically turn this on and make adjustments so that you recover all the details. In the layer section, you can also see other options right here. We have the linear gradient max. This is how to use the linear gradient map. You click on the li linear gradient map and then you move all the area you want to affect changes. 
let's see down here i want to darken down here this is the feeder range or this is the area has been affected you can adjust the brush like this and adjust it like this also so now to see you can adjust this particular area like this you see this is how the gradient gradient affect your image that is the linear gradient affect your image then we have the video gradient so let me show you how to use the video gradient max to use it let's create a new empty layer now take the gradient max and we are going to draw over area like this so this area that is raised is the area that the effect is going to be applied to so right now the red overlay is showing areas that the effect is going to apply to i can also adjust the size or the shape of the gradient like this i adjust it like this i move it around like this so when you are okay with the area i use this to add vignettes to our image so let's darken the other areas bring more focus to this particular portion so to hide you know what to do press m shortcut on your keyboard to hide the max visibility you can make adjustment like this to your image now so if you are done with editing with capture one i've shown you all the section all the areas you are going to touch in capture one and if after everything you are done with the whole process and you want to open your image in another photo editing software i'm going to go to image edit with and you can going to click on adobe photoshop and this image is going to open in adobe photoshop or you can click on any other photo editing software that is going to appear here you can browse the particular one if you're not seeing the option you want here if you click on edit with it's going to continue the editing with photoshop and if you click on open with it's going to open the original image in photoshop so that is how it works but if you are done i want to save just come to export and then you can click on the file type you can click on multiple file types and all the particular one you want i click on export it's going to show invalid output part you are going to specify where you want to save your file so select this portion and our image is going to export in the background. then for the quality you are going to change it to by cubic sharper for a sharper image you can see how sharp our image is right now very sharp then you are going to click on save find a folder where you want to save and to that area so this is the end of the retouching course if you have any inquiry you can reach out to me on instagram if you have my whatsapp you can contact me on whatsapp also for those of you that are very busy we offer retouching services that is you can send us your image and then we edit them for you high-end retouching at a very affordable rate 
So even after learning this, if you want us, we can edit your images for you. Just reach out to me on Instagram. If there are other stuff you need, you can reach out to me on Instagram. If you have any question, you can ask me on Instagram. See you in another one.